This is Mario with KKYR Kicker 102.5. We are here at Spring Lake Park with the world famous Budweiser Clydesdales. And I have with me right now uh, Rudy, Rudy Helmuth. Uh, tell us what you do here with uh, the Clydesdales and uh, welcome to Texarkana, by the way. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah, my name is Rudy Helmuth and um, I'm one of the Clydesdale handlers from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, we're here in Texarkana at Spring Lake Park. We have the three Budweiser semis here and we have the nine horses underneath the tent there. And uh, we travel about 300 days a year. Each week we go to a new city. So this week brought us to Texarkana. So we're excited to be here. Tomorrow morning we're going to have the horses actually hitched up to the wagon at about 10:30, 11 o'clock, and you'll actually be able to come out and see them and actually see them get all hitched up to the wagon, and that'll give them an opportunity for people to actually get up close and personal with the horses. A lot of people just see them on TV and stuff and don't actually get to interact with them. So this will give them a chance to come out and get pretty close to them, take a picture with them, and obviously see our dog oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Clyde, our Dalmatian, and he'll be up on the hitch riding on the hitch. So. Well, these are, these these horses are amazing. They're just such a grace. They're they're so graceful and they're majestic. And I just got to know, Rudy, when you get ready to hitch this wagon up, how long is the process to get the, all these horses lined up and well, ready to go? Well, it takes about five hours of a crew of six people to get them all ready until they're ready to actually hitch up. All the brass has to be polished. The hair on their feet, which is called their feathers, has to be washed all nice and white and shiny. Everything has to be just perfect for the whole outcome and it's always rewarding to see it all come together. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on. A lot of behind the scenes together. stuff, yeah. Absolutely. Well, these Clydesdale horses, uh, there's plenty of Clydesdale horses with the organization here, but these ones that are here in Texarkana here, uh, they all have names, right? Absolutely. Um, they all have names, and only the elite Clydesdales come and join our team. We actually have a breeding farm. We raise all our own babies. In Boomville, Missouri, every year we have about 50 babies. And our goal is to have about 10 candidates to actually come on the team. We only use geldings, which are neutered males, and they have to have four white stockings, white blaze in their face, black mane and tail, and weigh about 2,000 pounds. Um, so only select ones that can actually come on the team, and they have to be very well trained. And they are, as a breed, they are very docile, and they truly are a gentle giant. The Clydesdales are. A lot of people think because they're so much bigger. They are a lot ornery. They're really not. They they love people. They love their job. All the ones that we use, we use the best of the breed. Well, I had one of those horses over there a few minutes ago, and I thought he was going to, I think he kind of nuzzled up to me and kind of gave me a kiss on the side of the cheek. That's how gentle they are. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people think they can bite too. They have big teeth and everything, but for the most part, they love people. They're now, very gentle. How, mu uh, how, how much do they weigh? Well, uh, most of them average about 2,000 pounds. Um, we have horses that range anywhere from about 1,800 to about 2400 and uh, when you see them all hitched up the team closest to the wagon is the largest team that's what we call the wheel team because um, most of the weight is pulled by a wagon our wagon weighs about 8,000 pounds so it takes a lot of strength to pull that wagon and then the team in front of the wheel team is called the body team and then the team in front of that is called the swing team along with and the furthest in front is called the lead team so we put our most flashiest horses up front, the most confident horses because they do all the leading everywhere we go. So we do a lot of parades and a lot of very active events and stuff. So we want to make sure all the horses are safe and are very comfortable with everything that's surrounding them. Now, since these horses are so mammoth, I bet you they eat a lot of food, don't they? Absolutely. They eat a lot of food. Uh, they eat about 50 pounds of hay a day, along with about 20 pounds of grain and drink about 50 gallons of Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, about 50 gallons of water. That's fantastic. Well, I tell you what, I know everybody is, uh, you know, thrilled to have them here in Texarkana. And again, the Ambassador of Excellent Award is going to be presented to uh, Tim O'Neill with Eagle Distributing for the excellent job that they did here at the distributorship. And this is all in part of why the Clydesdales made their visit to Texarkana. Yeah, absolutely. The AOB is why we're here, Ambassador of Excellence. And thank you to Eagle Distributing for bringing us here. Um, so every, every day that you drink a Budweiser, that's how they achieved that award. So keep drinking Budweiser and Anheuser-Busch is all about great looking Clydesdales and great tasting beer. Rudy, one last question. How did you get this prestigious job of being able to, to be in that wagon and, 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 and pull all those horses, I mean, be up on the wagon with all those horses? Well, um, I actually grew up in Iowa farming with horses. So I grew up since I was like five years old driving horses, training horses. So horses were like, it's like second nature for me. So I was fortunate enough to do that. It's just like driving a car, anybody that grew up doing it. So um, from there, I just graduated up to uh, training horses. And um, my dream has always been to work become a 
for the Budweiser Clydesdales, and here I am today, 24 years old, and uh, working for the Clydesdales. I love it, every minute of it. All right, thanks, Rudy. Absolutely. Thanks for having us.